Hi, this is Maginoni, and I know it's been a long time since I've done a DVD movie review, but every once in a while, a movie comes out that just speaks to you, telling you that you must do the review for it. And the movie is, as you can see, Bait. Clean up on aisle seven. Now, there are just some movies that are fantastic. You know, everything, it's like the movie can't go wrong. And there are other movies that I guess you can put it as nature's way of telling you, stay away. Bait is one of those movies that nature is telling you to stay away. Now, there is a 3D version of this movie. And I'm very grateful that I did not spend the extra $5 to buy the Blu-ray version of it. Because it's really bad. Now, as one thing I might want to bring up for you Nip Tuck fans, is, and that's uh, Julian McMahon is in this, and I just want to know what type of favor did this guy have um, owe somebody to do this movie? Because this movie can only hurt his career. It's that simple. Now, the basic premise to bait is this. And actually, if you really think about it, the basic premise isn't too bad. I mean, I can hear this movie in the pit, the pitch. And that you have a resort town. And a tidal wave comes and hits it and um, floods a supermarket. And there are people trapped inside there. You know, most of the people get killed, obviously, you know, from the rush of the water. Uh, but there are a few lucky survivors. There's survivors inside the actual market, and there's some survivors that are in the parking lot. Um, it's like an, um, I guess you can say it's like an underground parking lot. Now, there are obstacles, obviously, that prevent them from escaping, like uh, a car bursts through the wall, and they can't get through that. Um, and there's always the, you know, the debris and things like that that block exits. Uh, now, to add a little bit of difficulty to their escape because there is a, a, a path where they can get away um, well actually they have to remove the car first but there is um, two great white sharks there's a shark that's in the supermarket part and then there's a part a shark in the uh, parking lot conveniently and of course these great white sharks are so hungry they will keep eating until um, they'll keep eating like it's Korean barbecue, basically. And it's just a horrible movie. Basically what you have is, you don't really have what I would consider creative characters. What they did was they just threw in typical characters, like stereotypes. Like you have a lifeguard, who ex-lifeguard, who um, tried to save his um, future brother-in-law from a great white shark attack failed so now he's working the supermarket then you have this girl who didn't uh, wasn't there for her mother when her mother died and now she's got mommy issues and her dad who happens to be a cop they're there her the girl's boyfriend is there who really means well and he probably could steer her on the right path but she's being a bitch so um, you know, she she's causing trouble. Then you have the two criminals who try to rob the supermarket of all places. Uh, you have the Asian manager of the grocery store. You know, you have then in like in the parking lot, you have the surfer dude and his girlfriend with the tiny dog, because you have to have a tiny dog in a situation where the sharks are going to eat the dog, because that's all you're waiting for. You're waiting for the sharks to eat it, and to me, it just seemed very generic. I mean, I, I left out a couple people, but that's just the that's the gist. I mean, the, obviously, the ex-girlfriend whose brother got eaten by the shark is there because you have to have that, you know, sexual tension, so to speak, even though there's nothing there. Um, but, you know, it's, it's like, it's just a mess, you know, and I'm leaving out details, too, because I don't want to bore you with the details. Let's just give it the story. Um, basically, one by one, they manage to go into the water for one reason or another, and shark eats them. It's that simple. 
and you know I understand you would say okay well all you gotta do is just stand on top of the aisles and then you don't get into the water but they add things like the water is rising you have an electrical wire that conveniently gets loose and it's inches above the water so it's a matter of time before everybody gets electrocuted so they have to go into the water you know it's things like that that conveniently happen to make that element of danger um, the 3D effects are basically it's not like Avatar or um, you know heck most really good 3D movies and by that I mean it's more piranha 3D type effects where they throw you know like the shark comes so they have body parts floating towards you you know it's that kind of an effect it's not like hey let's make this thing cool you know let's make this you know graphic and then use the 3D to show how cool we are because we have limbs floating and I think that's a complete waste. Since I did not see the 3D version, I can't tell you how good the actual quality of the 3D is, but it's very obvious watching the 2D version what is meant, you know, as the 3D, like, wow, look at this, and what's not. Um, Anchor Bay really got burned when they made this movie. I can't imagine them making any money at all with this. Uh, that's why I think Julian owed somebody a huge favor to get put into this movie to maybe give it some credibility because this movie is pretty much on par with sci-fi a sci-fi movie um, maybe this has a little better okay it's on par but maybe I guess you can say it's less because at least the sci-fi movie would have a two-headed shark with a giant octopus and maybe a more eel snake fanged creature you know something to that effect um, adding to the overall craziness of what's going on here. This is just two great white sharks. Um, so in other words, I guess what I'm saying is highly recommend avoid this movie at all costs. Uh, even the extras isn't much. You, you get a storyboard gallery. Now, I know you're probably thinking there's got to be a perk, and there is. I guess you can say because if you wanted to see the Jersey Shore shark attack you can get a two dollar off coupon to see this movie or you can just go to Redbox and use it to cure your insomnia but anyways that's my review for bait avoid it at all cost but see dread dread was awesome so if you have any comments or questions let me know rate the video up down let me know what you think uh, if you saw this movie, I'm curious to hear what you have to say about it, like the Facebook link that's there. Um, and we'll have more reviews and stuff like that later because I plan on putting more content on this channel. So until next time.